Okay, these are two different hatchets that I've been using for primary reduction of wood pieces for woodworking hand with hand tools and uh, it's a very effective technique when you're working with hand tools to start off with a hatchet or something to really work a piece down because otherwise you're going to spend a lot of time carving and I just want to show you a little bit how to use these things and also what you're looking to get in a hatchet. This one is a Japanese hand axe. It's pretty much designed for woodworking. It's got this bearded design where you can grip it right behind the uh, actual axe head for, for uh, really good control or you can uh, hold it down here in the handle and get some good uh, leverage and really remove big pieces so uh, the website I got that off of had it just listed as a hatchet and I'm pretty sure it's designed specifically for woodworking it works very well and also you'll notice uh, the bevel on it is a little bit different than a standard American axe it's got this uh, pretty straight bevel on both faces the other one is a Norland. This is a antique hatchet. It's a very good hatchet. General all-purpose hatchet. Works great for woodworking. Uh, not quite as good as the Japanese one, but it's very comparable. So there are just kind of subtle differences there. So if you're looking for a hatchet for general use, but also woodworking, I would say get an antique hatchet. The modern ones just don't really stand up to the way they used to make them. Uh, so if you can find a, a Norland or some other Boy Scout hatchet, like a, a club or something like that, uh, try and get one of those and put a new handle on it, and you'll have a great all-round hatchet. But if you're going to be using a hatchet primarily for woodworking, I would recommend at least trying out this Japanese one, and they're not that pricey or anything. So. I'll just uh, start woodworking a little bit and you can see the process. notice when the hatchet skips off the wood it's when it's not getting a good bite so you have to use the right angle to hit and uh, it's really why a lot of modern hatchets don't work very well for this the metal is just not good enough to hold a, a sharp angle on that blade so they skip off a lot you have to kind of learn the optimum angle to chop with but when you do come to find out doing this, if you're doing mostly woodworking by hand, uh, this is a lot easier on your joints. If you're trying to whittle this thing down, you're really putting a lot of stress on your joints pushing that knife, whereas here you're letting the weight of the axe do the work. And when you get good enough, you can start doing some more detailed stuff where you're shaping the wood, you know, controlling the width you want. Here I'm making out metals. That's primarily what I make. Uh, so I'm making this long, thin slat. And I want it to be uh, parallel sided. And I can do that with an axe. I can get it 
do a rough stage, which is pretty close, before I switch over to my knife and sandpaper and rasp. And alternatively, you can take off some big chunks. So this started as a piece of wood about yay big that I worked down. It took me maybe to get it to this stage about 10 minutes or so of hatchet work. Now we'll try the Norland here. You can see there's just a little bit different in the way it works. still a good hatchet for woodworking and a good all-around hatchet in general.